Hello, this is Indiana Rob with the Musicology History Tidbit. My baby love, my baby love, my history, oh how I need ya. It's Musicology. Diane Earl Ross was born March 26, 1944. Diana Ross grew up in the Detroit projects and was neighbors and had a fling with famous Motown singer Smokey Robinson. She started out singing at the young age of 15 with the Primettes and later was signed by Barry Gordon in 1961 and they were renamed the Supremes. The Supremes took Diana Ross's lead vocalist in 1963. Then with Florence Ballard and Mary Wilson, the Super Diva group was complete. The Supremes reached superstardom with their hit Where Did Our Love Go in 1965. Then hit number one on Billboard with Baby Love and Stop in the Name of Love. The Supremes played San Bernardino's famous swing auditorium in 1969 even opened by the Jackson 5 Incredible! At the concert, the Supremes were honored with the key to the city of San Bernardino. San Bernardino's Mayor Ballard was quoted, the Supremes have truly created a guiding light for our young people, proving that determination can bring fulfillment and success. Their unselfishness in giving help to those in need are indicative of their character. And these three girls who have sold millions of records, entertained all over the world, yet have not lost sight of their own humble childhood in a poor section of Detroit. Diana Ross's solo singing career blossomed with the 1970s hit, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. In the 1971 movie, Lady Sings the Blues, Diana Ross was nominated for an Academy Award. Ross was married twice and had five kids in her long career as mommy and performer. In 2012, she received her first Grammy for Lifetime Achievement. Then in 2016, President Obama gave her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Holy Sharkopotamus! And that's a musicology history tidbit!